Anyway, dude. I mean, I, I have no idea what kind of stuff here I should present to him at all. I'll start with profiles about the people involved. An interesting rumor about this man. You mean the one about Miss Andrews getting close to him? Well, that's pretty common tabloid fare, isn't it? I don't take things at face value when there's more to be found. While I was abroad, these deplorable types of actors became popular, had I take it? Well, refreshing like a spring breeze is his motto. Refreshing? And what is so refreshing about a spring breeze? Okay. I, yeah, I guess. What about her? We got him we got him back now. Twenty-five. Adrian Andrews. She holds a large secret within herself. Yeah, I saw her psych locks. You can't help but feel that this whole case revolves around her. Probably. This girl. This woman is another key to the case. Do you really think so? She was Adrian Andrews' mentor a long time ago. But suddenly, she was called away by a production and became one corridor's manager. And then, a few months later, Celeste Impax died. But her death was a suicide, right? Yes. But there is still one riddle left unsolved. A riddle? Her suicide note. It went missing. No one could find it. A suicide note that just vanished, huh? Very interesting. Okay, we can talk about that now. L uh, um, Lada's note mo missing too! What's the connection? However, we could not find her suicide note. That's when the police began to suspe suspect that someone had hidden it. The suicide note. But how do you know Miss Impax had even written such a note? There was no solid evidence, however. We did find traces of ink on her right index finger. Which makes the likelihood of a suicide note very high. I don't know about that, that's a bit of a stretch, but okay. Who would hide such a thing? The police think it was Mr. One Corridor himself. I mean, if you're saying that it was surely a suicide and there was you, no note found, I... I don't know, it's kind of weird. He was the one who found her body, which makes him the only person who had a chance to hide her suicide note. Mr. Corridor hit his own manager's suicide note, but why? It's pretty dark seeing her hanging there like that. As long as her note is missing, any speculation beyond this is meaningless. For now, I think you should look this over. This is the suicide report, part one anyway. Part one? Okay. What is in part one? I can't check it? Okay, can you talk to me about it? I don't like to look through reports. I like suicide reports even less. Worst of all are the reports that have multiple parts like that one. That has two. Two parts. What you just handed me is the first part of the report. Here is the second. Oh, th well thanks, you could have given me both at the same time. Attempted suicide? Juan or Adrian? Adrian, okay. Miss Andrews? Um, what did she do? She tried to kill herself. She doesn't seem like the kind of person to try and kill herself. You think she's a strong career woman? That is just her image. Adrian Andrews, she has a se certain secret she's always trying to hide. A secret? She's just putting on a front? Codependency? Said she doesn't need relationships, but what if she apparently does? She was just putting on a front. So how are Adrian Andrews and codependency related? Adrian Andrews attempted suicide was a few days after the death of Celeste Impax. And? And why did Adrian Andrews think about committing suicide? Quite possibly because she had lost her will to live. Lost her will? But why would she? Her pillar of strength. Her mentor, Celeste Impax. Or maybe now that that's happened to her, maybe she went through that tragedy, maybe now she changed and now she's a, a brick wall who don't want no relationships. Uh, who knows? Following someone to the grave? After her attempted suicide, Adrian Andrews started attending counseling sessions. She is a person who looks for someone she can trust unconditionally. And once she finds that someone, she blindly follows them. Without someone to guide her, she feels uneasy and can't carry herself through life. And that's... that's her codependency. When Celeste and Peck suddenly committed suicide, the world before her turned to pitch dark. That's according to Adrian Andrews herself. Then that means her super confident attitude. It's all a facade. 
She's only copying her mentor's behavior to hold herself together. How terrible. Wow. Okay. I guess it's all with that. Um, now that we have that, maybe I should go break her Cyclox. Well, now I feel a little bad for... I still don't feel like I could break them all right now, but maybe. I mean, they did say, you know, you gotta get it in one shot or Maya's gonna die or whatever, so maybe there really will only be one trial after this one investigation, although it's a two-part investigation, so it's been going for a pretty long time. Both parts. The first one was like an hour, this one's been going for over an hour, so... Maybe there is just this one long investigation and one long trial, but I don't know. She was in here. Oh, Miss Andrews is here. But it looks like she's talking with someone. That's Francisca von Karma. God damn it. Miss von Karma? What are you doing here? Uh, well, you see, I'm his lawyer, so... You've got some nerve following me around. Following you? That's you, Miss von Karma. You're the one doing the following. Tell her, Pearl. Pearls? You're always following after that Mr. Detective with the little beard. Me? Following after Scruffy? Don't make me laugh. I'll show you something interesting. A little girl. It's not interesting at all. Is that a GPS, though? Do you know where Gumshoe is at all times? What is that? An electromagnetic receiver. I planted a tracking device on that detective. And with this? I know that fools every move. So that noise we heard was this receiver. I feel really sorry for poor Detective Gumshoe now. Now then. Let's stop wasting time. Adrian Andrews. Yes? Think hard about what we just discussed. Understood? All right. What were those two talking about? Miss Andrews, she seems a little dazed, doesn't she? Well, I gotta eat dinner. So I'm gonna stop playing right here. Probably won't be the end of a video, though, because I don't think it adds up right, so... Uh, bye, and I'll see you again in approximately one second. Okay, I'm back! We're gonna, I guess, do the... Nagatama, right? Let's do it. We got it started before, but we only presented a tabloid. Which just was not good enough for her. So let's get back to where we were. Why do you ask questions? Truth is, I was not that close to Mr. Corda. You were not that close. I mean, before presenting the tabloid did get her to go to the next question. So should I present the tabloid again? And then just answer the second question differently? Or should I this time present one of these? Because being intimate with another person, uh, that doesn't really, these don't really answer that. And the second question was, like, whose sake are you doing it for or something? And I said, Matt, and that was wrong, that's what cost me the hell. So I think I'm supposed to get there. And this did not break a lock, but it did get me to that other question, so I'll still present it. But this time, now that I know about Celeste, I can present her profile instead. You got close to Mr. Corda for this person's sake. Oh, that's not what I... Re I didn't remember that that's what the question was. Wait, why would... I mean, the answer has to be Celeste, right? But wait, why did she get close to... Mr. Corda for... For her sake? Like, in what way? Oh, I guess because Celeste was Corda's manager and she wanted to, like, honor Corda's memory, or Celeste's memory, by somehow helping Corda. I guess. Corda, Corita. If I can, I've been going back and forth. Doesn't matter. What do you know about Celeste? Miss Impacts. She committed suicide, didn't she? But it looks like no one knows why. Right before her death, she was Juan Corda's manager. So I believe you got close to Mr. Corda so you could find out more about her Okay, that's why. You have a great imagination. You may have a future yet as a slimy muckraker for a putrid third-rate tabloid. Miss Andrews. 
There was no mystery surrounding her death. None. It would be pointless for me to force myself into a relationship for nothing. Is that really true? Was there really no mystery at all? I don't really believe you were completely at ease with the way her suicide was resolved. Uh, which one is which? Was her suicide note hidden? Shock from Celeste impacts the suicide. Okay, that was that. This one is hers, and this one is Celeste. Uh, uh. Well, I mean, saying that, I could say this because you know, saying she's not at ease with the way the suicide was was resolved, because the note was missing. This one, uh, she didn't try to commit suicide herself because of the way it was resolved. It was because she didn't want to be alone. So I think for this specific question, the answer should be the... No, not back over here. Should be the first one. And we should go in order anyway. One, two. Miss Impax's suicide note was never found, was it? Looks like the police were under the suspicion that someone had hidden it. Like maybe the person who discovered her body, Mr. Corrida. So she wanted to get close to him for that. So yeah, it doesn't make any sense that Matt would push her close to him for a scandal, so I knew that wasn't the case. I still don't really even understand how it's a scandal. But these stupid tabloids will run anything, and people will be like, Oh my god, anything at all involving a name that I know, that's a scandal. So I guess I get it, because the, you know, the population, they read the stuff and they act like stupids. Anyway, it's true that Celeste was my mentor, however, allow me to say this again. It had nothing to do with me. I didn't even know what her suicide note was never found. No, I just try to kill yourself. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I think I know what to present now. I don't think that's who you really are. What? I have evidence that says otherwise. And the fact that you tried to kill yourself. How am I going to break the fourth lock? Although we've seen that I can break four locks at once, so maybe this will break the last two, since it'll tell her that we know what she's really like. Miss Andrews, you look and act like a very strong woman who has it all together. You don't ask for anyone's help, and you live by yourself. Yes, I've been very independent ever since I can remember. However, that is all just a lie, a facade. You've always searched out people on whom you can depend on. That's... You were dependent on Miss Impax, weren't you? Which is why, when she passed away, you lost everything you had. Stop! When Celeste passed away, so suddenly like that... I died a death of my own, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about what had become of her note. You must have heard about the police report. The one that said the police suspected Mr. Corda of hiding Miss Impax's note. You heard about it, and thought to recover it from him by getting close, am I right? If that's the case, then everything changes. What do you mean? What topic did we start this conversation on again? It was, why was the victim killed? Ah, shit. Exactly. Somehow, Miss Andrews... It seems that you have become the one most likely to want Mr. Cora to dead. But there's no way that this is the end, like the first trial. It's not going to be the last. So if we're already suspecting her, then it's not going to be her. Me? Miss Impact was everything to you. And then she died. And you would do anything to find out why she killed herself. Even commit murder. Murder? Shit. I don't think it's her, though. Just because Phoenix is suspecting her so early, so it really... How can it be? No way. Doesn't work like that. It's true, I am a woman who can only live in insecurity. I am physically small, and I don't really have a lot of self-confidence. I've pushed against all that, though. I've tried to live strongly. I never wanted anyone to find out the truth. Miss Andrews. This one thing, it's the one thing I wanted to take with me to the grave. It was my secret, mine and mine alone. I'm sorry. You probably think I'm a worthless human being right now, don't you? Please, Miss Andrews, all I want to know is the truth. After Celeste passed away, I heard that someone had hidden her suicide note, and that someone was Juan Corrida. Celeste, without her, without her I became scared. Everything, everyone seemed like they were out to get me. So you got close to Mr. Corda to recover her suicide note, correct? You know, I said I wasn't one for relationships either, but if you want, I can be... I can take care of you and whatnot. It's all fine. We can go either way. It's whichever... whatever you need. I'm good. <laughs> well, like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if they purposely add fuel to the fire, they keep the celebrity world burning. That's all it is. 
Stupid tabloid gossip stuff. I didn't and wouldn't kill anyone for it. And it just doesn't suit me, that's all. Well, that's enough for now. Still have work to do, so... I understand. Oh, I have one small favor to ask. My attempted suicide. I'd like for you to keep it a secret. Miss Andrews. If people found out about my weakness, I would sooner choose to die than live. All right, I understand. We'll keep it a secret. Miss Andrews, I guess she's the always thinking type. She never says anything carelessly, it seems. Thank you very much. Mr. Nick, can I ask you something? What is it? Miss Andrews has been playing with that card in her hand since a little while back. That card? Yeah, I guess she has. Miss Andrews, what is that card you're holding? Huh? Is that a shell with a target on it? I don't quite know. It just suddenly appeared in my handbag. What the hell? It's like half of a slow bro. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a seashell. Honestly, don't remember owning this card. I wonder where I picked it up from. It's a calling card of someone. It must mean something. It's like it's the, the logo of some group of, of something or someone. I don't know. This investigation is quite long. Maybe we will just have a long-ass trial tomorrow and it will be the last one, but I just can't really see that happening. Well, I think we've gathered about all we can. What about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? I guess we are coming to a close then. All right. Oh, Pearl, she looks so worn out by all this. She hasn't slept at all, and has been walking all over the place with me today. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Let's go back to the office for a little while. You're really tired, right? Oh, no. I'm okay, really. I'm fine, I really am. You don't look fine to me. Well, let's head back to the office for Pearl's sake. I still feel like it, it just might be Matt. I don't really see it being her. And there's really nobody else who it could be. Unless it's like Acro, where we meet him at the last minute. But, uh... I feel like that's why the case is hailed as being so good. Because I asked at the very beginning of the first game, are we ever going to have to defend somebody who's guilty? And I know that has to happen sometime, right? And maybe that's why this case is so good, because that's what happens. Especially because of the Maya thing. Well, we did find one thing out for sure. Miss Andrews has a motive. You mean Miss Impact's a suicide note? That's right. She was also the one to discover the victim's body. Clever. Oh, it's the killer! Hello, this is the law officer of Wright & Co. Mr. Attorney, you're not answering a phone. Maya! Where's Maya? As I promised, I have not come within a few feet of her this whole time. I've only jacked off in the corner and come within a couple feet. <laughs> not within a couple feet. <laughs> Phew! Which is why I suppose she is absolutely famished. <gasps> what? So I suggest you win a quick acquittal, my friend. At any cost, wouldn't you agree? She's not eating. It's bullshit. Ask my... Oh, whoa. Is that you? Sis, ask my sis. Would you... Why would your sister know? Ask my sis. It means ask her sis, you dumb piece of shit. Come on, Phoenix. Yeah, obviously. She's probably already here. Yep. Thank you. That's still really weird. Especially getting such a front angle where you, you see a lot of boobage. Considering that's that's Pearl's body. That's, that's odd. I have a message from Maya. So come, ask me anything you want about her. Sweet. Pretty genius. She gives it to her, and then she comes to me. That's what happens when you kidnap a psychic, dumbass. She's safe for now. That kidnapper is one to keep his word, it seems. I'm glad to hear she's safe. But Mia, how did you know? As soon as she was locked up, Maya called for me. I read the note she left. Then I gathered as much information about her surroundings as I could. You know what? Good call, Maya. Good call. A little bit of redemption for Maya in my eyes. Very smart. Good shit, girl. What's she like? What's he like? I don't know. Apparently, Maya went to answer a phone call at the hotel and was drugged there. And? She didn't see the face of her attacker. Maya is locked up in a very dark place right now. I'll tell you everything I heard when I was with her. When you were with her? 
What could you have possibly heard? What is that? What is that on the ground? I could really go for some apple pie. I mean, at a time like this, sweets are the only way to go. I have to stay positive. He promised he wasn't going to kill me. I'm not going to die. Sis, I wonder if you're with Nick right now. Oh, where? this is the present. I thought Mia was going to be telling us everything that she heard, so I thought we were a flashback. What be this? Huh? It's the shell! How did the fuck did Andrews have it? Is that this guy's... Is this guy like a fucking... When she said he was an assassin, is he like a fucking hitman? Maybe this is his calling card. Kind of looks like a business card, but there's no name on it. The shell organization. The spiral shells. It's a picture of a seashell, I think. What a strange card. Uh... What else? Door? Dress, it's locked. But this door's lock seems easy enough to open. On TV, the hero always uses a plastic card or a stiff piece of cardboard. Well, there you go! Pick it up! I wonder if it... Yeah, Maya, there you go. You can do it. If I use this, maybe I can get the door open. This might be my key out of here. Good thing Maya's actually being smart now. I'm such a genius. Well, calm down. Alright, now if you'll excuse me, Mr. Kidnapper. He's just gonna be right there. I did it! Okay, now I'm getting the heck out of here. I shouldn't keep Nick waiting. Or worried. Is she actually gonna get away? There's no way. Whoa, really? Maya's on the... She's on the escape path! Sweet, good for her. That's pretty awesome. I didn't expect that. Maybe that will make this less dramatic than I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Because I'm like, oh, if we have to choose between finding him guilty or getting or Maya free, but she's uh, she seems to be escaping. But anyway, we'll see how the trial goes down next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then.